and go and Desert Mountain one of the first to show with Potentate then in defense is right up there and Rainbow Frontier towards the outside more dash than cash tracks them on the rails but Potentate is going to be the leader at the first with Summer Spell then in defense between the two then comes Desert Mountain on the inside Cadu Nonante on the outside with Rainbow Frontier more dash than cash Still tucked in there with Bellator and Charming Girls the back marker as they come to the second. And Potentate, the top weight, leads over it from in defence, Cadu Nonante, Summer Spell, then Desert Mountain, more dash than cash, Bellator, then Rainbow Frontier, Ruba Hoonish, Lopra, Nordic Breeze, High in the Clouds, Justin Mack, Bless Me Sister, Charming Girl, and finally Karawi. Just under a circuit to go now. And Tony McCoy, opposite tactics from what he employed in the previous race on Cadu Gold, where he held his mount up to the end. This time he's making it on Potentate, but only just from in defence. And Cadu Nonante, another front runner on the outside. Then more dash than cash, followed by Desert Mountain, Summer Spell. Then comes Rainbow Frontier, Nordic Breeze, Bellator. And then on the inside, Ruba Hoonish of Lopra and Justin Mack. Then Charming Girl, High in the Clouds, Bless Me Sister, and Karawi as they jump the third, and Cadu Nonante on the outside, jumped up with in defense, and Potentate in third place. Then Bellator's just in behind them, with more dash than Cash, who's got the very pronounced white face. In defense also has a white face, of course. And going to the last on the far side now, flight number five, Cadu Nonante on the outside, potentate on the inside and right inside him even is Bellator then more dash than cash Desert Mountain with the blinkers on the inner then comes in defense and Rainbow Frontier and Summer Spell Lopra being pushed along bless me sister getting nearer but Tony McCoy getting serious now on potentate as Desert Mountain comes up there pretty easily on the inner more dash than cash is third then Cadu Nonante has lost a few lengths but Desert Mountain and Dean Gallagher got up on the inside of Tony McCoy on Potentate on the home turn with three to jump then more dash than cash Rainbow Frontier coming there on the outside then Bellator here's Ruba Hoonish coming with a run on the inside and Summer Spell not far behind them as they come to jump three out and Desert Mountain from Potentate who hit it then more dash than cash then comes Rainbow Frontier as they run down towards the second last and more dash than cash coming there well so too is Rainbow Frontier with Charlie Swan as they run to the second last Potentate not far behind them two out Rainbow Frontier and more dash than cash together Justin Max being pulled up Desert Mountain Summer Spell Potentate all chasing the leaders then Lopra but it's Rainbow Frontier and Charlie Swan out clear as they come to the last Charlie Swan bidding for his thousandth winner over jumps what a way to do it as Rainbow Frontier jumps the last four lengths clear of Summer Spell here's Ruba Hoonish fast and late on the outside then more dash than cash Rainbow Frontier here's Ruba Hoonish for the very powerful late run Rainbow Frontier from Ruba Hoonish Rainbow Frontier holds Ruba Hoonish by about three quarters of a length Summer Spell is third then more dash than cash Lopra in defense Cadu Nonante then Desert Mountain and High in the Clouds and then a whole mob of them and back to last place Charming Girl the only one that didn't complete as far as I could see was Justin Mack who pulled up and so the result of the Crowther Home Swinton Handicap Hurdle is a win for number eight Rainbow Frontier owned by Clive D. Smith trained by Martin Pipe and ridden by Charlie Swan second was number five Ruba Hoonish, owned by the Lone Star Racing Partnership, trained by Martin Bosley and ridden by Luke Harvey. And third, number 11, Summer Spell, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Robbins, trained by Nicky Henderson and ridden by John Kavanagh. More cash than dash was fourth. And Rainbow Frontier gave Charlie Swan his thousandth winner over jumps.
Not only that, Johnny gave him his thousandth winner jumping and flat when he rode this one to win at Listol. Now, they've gone a tremendous gallop, as they often do, which gives the uh, opening to horses coming from behind. And Charlie Swan had done just that. He came through. But where's Ruben Hoon? He's probably about three lengths behind. Look at the breast girth there. Um, and you can see more dash than cash had run a super race. Uh, Desert Mountain just fading there. And also uh, Lopra just going out of the picture. But was it all over, Skew? No, uh, when, when Rainbow Frontier had gone to the front here, you thought it, uh, it was, but Ruben Hoonish was going to get a great run from uh, Luke Harvey. I just wonder when Luke looks at this race again, whether he'd been better being out there all the time. He sort of was outpaced earlier, that down the back, couldn't get his, his run, and when he's come into the straight, he's about three or four lengths further down than he wanted to be, and by the time the horse is running on, it's all too late. Rainbow Frontier is able to hold his position, and uh, it's got too much to do for Ruben Ruba Hoonish. But uh, a great run from both of them, and a great ride by Charlie Swan. A Swann. super shot of Charlie smiling now, but he keeps looking under his arm. as He never stops working or turns round, but he's looking under his arm, and there's that famous wave. He knows he's won another big one. Yes, uh, I was lucky enough to ride a thousand winners over hurdles, and it really is a great feeling because you've just